So the other day I was just on Reddit, you know, browsing the homepage as usual until I stumbled upon a post by Ass Predator Goku on the Dragon Ball Legends subreddit. He posts, hello guys, how's my completely fair and balanced Ultra Vegito concept? And then he posts this picture of what seems to be Ultra Vegito or Vegito with the middle part of his hair looking like Ultra Ego and then the side Ultra Instinct and then blood coming out of his eyes for whatever reason. But as I was going through this guy's kid, once I saw the first part of his kid, actually the second part, where he starts talking about the strike cards, I genuinely started laughing and I decided why not, I just had the idea, why not make this a video and just make, like, you know, record me reacting to how crazy this guy's kid is, how absolutely bonkers, how completely fair and balanced this kid is. And, you know, hopefully this could be a nice little funny video. Um, just decided to do something different from all the Dragon Ball PvP Legends video, whatever. So let's just look at this guy's, uh, <laughs> this guy's kid. And maybe if you guys like this video, I can do more reacting to a bunch of these guys' concepts. Because, uh, I don't know, there probably is a bunch of them. But uh, shout out to Ass Predator Goku for this very, very good kid. So let's just hop in straight into this kid. Um, so we got Ultra Vegito, first one is probably his stats yeah okay so celestial ultra vegeta so <laughs> right off the bat for those of you who don't know what the celestial garbage is a long time ago uh before we had like the introduction of ultra units way before we had the introduction of ultra units a lot of people were speculating the idea of you know a new rarity coming out because for the longest time people have been comparing this game to dokkan they still do to be honest um and since dokkan they have their you know lr rarity which is their highest tier rar rarity um, a lot of people were speculating of the ideas of of, uh, of uh, Dragon Ball Legends having uh, a higher that high of a rarity. So Celestial was one of the more popular, I guess, idea back then. Maybe I can pull up. Uh... So this was what actually what um, Celestial icon looked like. It's kind of cut off on the screen, but you can see here Celestial Jiren. Like, <laughs> it was, I mean, to be fair, it looks pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, Celestial Ultra Vegeta. So. Element purple type melee. Okay. Tags Saiyan Patara, Fusion Warrior, God Key, and a new tag called God Killer. Um, okay. Episode fan manga exclusive. Five star stats. Power level of 1.58 million. <laughs> just keep in mind there's a five star stats. Health at 2.62 million. Let's just pull up Super Vegito, Ultra Super Vegito as our reference. We'll we will put this guy at five stars, five thousand percent or five thousand level five thousand. Let's take a look at his health. 2.24 million at 14 stars, 2.6 million. So that should t show you already where this guy's sitting at. 284,000 strike attack, 283 strike uh, blast attack, and then defense is 181, 179. You know, looking pretty solid so far. You know, nothing crazy, but looking pretty good, right? This is where it gets fun. Strike cards. Strike nullify blast arts. Not just regular blast armor. Nullifies blast art. Destroys all enemy cards on hit. Nullifies blast arts when charging forward. So... <laughs> So as you're comboing your enemy, you know when you combo your enemy, they can gain cards if they don't have any. Well, this guy basically, whenever he uses a blast card or a strike card, uh, actually, let's even his blast card destroys enemy cards, but his strike cards as well, uh, they'll just continuously destroy cards. So just picture this. Just imagine like Ultra Gogeta just spamming blue cards, and they can change. Like imagine if Ultra Gogeta can just continuously chain his blue cards this is basically what it does and then blast card does the same thing and it nullifies revival you know why not just add that in there uh, blast card nullifying revival okay special skill planetary spirit sword <laughs> applies the following effects to enemy on hit immobilizes the enemy and enemy battle member <laughs> on standby for 15 time recounts what if the enemy battle members do just on hit okay okay on hit you gotta balance it somehow oh wait never mind i just saw that this move could not be avoided <laughs> okay so actually what would be the point of this what would be the point of immobilizing enemy battle member because if you immobilize your enemy you can switch out anyway so what would be the <laughs> Point of immobilizing battle member and takes away <laughs> takes away 25% of enemy battle members health just just straight up just takes it away pair him up with Whis and you can pretty much just kill your opponent just by removing popping green cards <laughs> that's fun special move Kamehame Hakai 
Very, very nice war, uh, special move there. Deal supreme damage. Okay, first, you know, special move to deal supreme damage. I'm, I'm, I like that. 100% to special move damage for three time recounts and nullifies revive health when we. So nullifies it re <laughs> revival. <laughs> And then 15% chance to insta-kill the enemy. Okay, okay. This dude really introducing some uh, new mechanics in here, okay. 15% uh, chance, I think that's the same um, chance as Rosé has to destroy Dragon Balls on hit. So, very balanced um, percentage there at least. Ultimate skill, sweet taste of destruction. Deals ultra impact damage. The following effects occur upon activation. One thousand percent to damage inflicted for five timer counts cannot be cancelled nullifies enemy revive when held okay this guy just nullifies revives all the time what was it why even bother specifying it you could have just added it into the kit to nullify it just for existing right and then nukes entire enemy entire team if the enemy health is below 50 percent what does that mean nukes the entire enemy's entire team does that just mean you just kill the whole team if your enemy has left less than 50 percent health burning hell fire of a mind that is if anything, these names sound really cool. Draws the ultimate arts card, Sweet Taste of Destruction. Next, restores own health by 50% and key by 100. Honestly, just based off of what he's been writing so far, I'm surprised he didn't just give restores full HP and restores key by 100. I'm surprised he didn't write that. Destroys enemy. <laughs> Destroys enemies rising rush button permanently for the match okay it seems like they added the tn mechanic to another level here inflicts all enemies with no switching for 30 time <laughs> and then nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 145 time recounts. now the bet the way he balanced this main ability is by <laughs> It's by giving it a 35 time recount restriction. You have to somehow balance his main ability. So adding that 35 time recount reduction or requirement is actually a good way to do that. So, by the way, he has no damage inflicted in his uh, main ability. That's pretty crazy. I mean, not like he needs it. Two damaged minds make one broken mind. Yo, I'm t yo. This guy's naming is on point. 100 to damage inflicted against Tag God of Destruction. Okay, that's I'm not being crazy, right? It's a lot of damage, but you know, God of Destruction is not really that popular of a tag. It's not a big deal. 50% to damage inflicted to tag God Key. Now that is a pretty good um, uh, anti-God Key mechanic there. Um, applies the following effects to self when power starts. Okay, okay. 200% damage inflicted. Okay, so this is where the big damage, uh, like the, his damage inflicted is coming from. So 90% uh, more than Ultra Super Vigil, which is, you know, nothing crazy. Oh yeah, reduce damage received by 100%. Okay, uh, same thing with Super Vigil, we have 50% right now, I think UI Goku is 60%, or I think no, Dragon Fist Goku is 60%, so, um, actually, not that far off Dragon Fist Goku, um, okay, increase card draw speed by 3 levels, <laughs> 3 levels, eh, we don't even have someone that does it by 2 levels, so basically what this guy is going to be doing, is if one strike card is not enough to just completely incinerate you, you're able to chain in until it does, right? So that's very nice. Nullifies tap shots. Huh? Just straight up. What, what does that even mean? Okay, just nullifies tap shots. Okay, cool. Nullifies uh, endurance. Very nice. The falling effect occurs when this character enters the battlefield. Uh, restores key by 50. You know, nothing too crazy. Destroys all enemy cards. Nice. Draws the mini ultimate arts card not just a blue card or a green card or a full-on ultimate a mini ultimate arts card torso shot assault reduces enemy vanishing gauge by 20 percent you know what like this ability right here you reduce enemy vanishing gauge by 20 percent on entry is actually pretty good because <laughs> like i can definitely see the developers adding this type of mechanic uh, into the game um, unless we have one someone like that we, i don't think we do but just imagine you enter the battlefield and your opponent can't vanish so what you can do is you enter the battlefield you can drop combo purposely and start a combo like that and then reset your combo and you can just do as much damage as you want so that's actually really really good applies the following effects to self when this character gets the enemy in a combo applies buff effect nullifies enemy special action for that action that activating chain cover applies until combo is finished very very nice <laughs> so basically you're always gonna nullify cover 
Restore his key by 30 every two timer counts. <laughs> okay, uh, really nice. Just add in 30 key whenever. Reduces damage received by 10%. Enemy attack is over, okay. And 50% damage inflicted cannot be canceled. So this basically just stacks forever. That's his first, pa that's his first passive, okay. Unique ability, complete mastery of both ego and instinct, okay. <laughs> Receive receive zero damage but changing cover. <laughs> this applies infinitely. <laughs> so <laughs> you just basically just whenever your enemy is in a combo, or when you're in a you're getting caught in a combo, you just switch out, and you just it's basically a, a dragon. No, not dragon, but Super Saiyan three Goku's in it cover change, but you can always use it. <laughs> Okay, consume 1% of these this character's unique gauge to activate enemies, um, enemy attack while okay, slide moving or standing still. Tap attacks, tackle, strike cards, blast art, special skill, special move, ultimate arts, rising red. Does he have the counter? Oh god, he has a counter. This character will also counter after evading and deal supreme impact damage to the enemy. Wait, what is UI Goku's multiplier? It just says deal impact. It doesn't even have a multiplier on that. This character's unique gauge gradually increases. Applies the effects to self when the enemy uses a key blast attack on this character. <laughs> absorbs the attack, restores own health by 30, restores own key by 150% damage. Like, how is he even gonna absorb the attack? Like, this guy is not even an android. <laughs> Does he just eat it or something? Does he eat the tab blast? Oh, he, oh, he gets a third unique ability. Oh, okay, so celestial units get a third unique ability. Okay, unique ability three. Unextinguishable hatred towards the gods. Dude, this guy's naming are I keep saying it, but he... They're on point. They, they sound sick. Apply the following effects to self when this character evades an enemy attack with the vanish. Zone. Reduces enemy vanishing gain by 100. Okay, so you sidestep, they can't vanish out. <laughs> okay. While this character is on the battlefield, applies the following effects to self when enemy switches characters. Restores vanishing gauge by 100. Draws a special arts card in nest. Next, and we all know that his green card cannot be avoided. <laughs> Occur when this uh, character's a felt reaches zero. Resurrects with a hundred health. Uh, resurrects. That's not revive. Okay, activate. <laughs> Activates fifty times. <laughs> what the hell? You won't even be able to kill this dude, but he can re resurrect 15 times. Okay, the character will transform into their unnamed form after the 14 resurrection and auto the match. Okay. And auto win the match. Okay. Does he have a fourth passive? Three. Okay, so I don't think he has a unique four. Oh, he does have a unique four. You're one to talk about same prime. No. No <laughs> fight character Gogeta. Okay. What does that even mean? Like, they can't bring in Gogeta into the battle or something? You're one to talk about same pride. Okay. Oh, he does have a fifth unique ability. Okay. Um, Unique ability five. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Okay, restores own health by 50%. Okay, activates 9,999 times. Okay, can all be no fight. Okay, okay, buddy, okay. Falling effects occur every time own attack is evaded with a vanishing step. Destroys all enemy cards. Dude, I swear this guy already had something that, okay. When your opponent vanishes, you lose all their cards. Minus five arts card draw speed level so they lose all their card and they won't get any cards pretty much for the rest of the game the following effects occur when this character is a <laughs> this character cannot be defeated and that is the last page <laughs> no I, I, I don't know it's just so out of off like it's so crazy and ridiculous that it actually is kind of funny and it's pretty like interesting some of the abilities he came up with uh, I don't know, it's just pretty funny, man. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Ass Predator Goku on the Dragon Ball Legends subreddit for this amazing concept. Hopefully this guy drops during Legends Festival. If not, I'm speculating most likely the 6th anniversary um, as the headlining Celestial unit, so that'll be pretty cool. We'll have to wait and see if it's actually a Celestial LF or not, but uh, we'll have to wait pretty much a year to see if that's gonna happen. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because that shit is so important. So don't forget, I don't know, have a great day. See ya.